Bada bing, Marcus Scotty reporting. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And talk about three, three issues today. We got uh, Trump's comedy routine at uh, CPAC. You got to see this. <laughs> Side splitting, funny man, funny. Bernie Sanders smears continue despite all our efforts to tell the truth about what's actually going on. And uh, I'm going to touch a little bit on a little bit on the yellow vests. The yellow vests. Let's jump right into uh, Trump's comedy routine. This is. Fucking spectacular. Check this shit out. Robert Mueller put 13 of the angriest Democrats in the history of our country on the commission. Now, how do you do that? These are angry, angry people. You take a look at them. One of them was involved with the Hillary Clinton Foundation running it. Another one has perhaps the worst reputation of any human being I've ever seen. <laughs> All killers. Killing. In fact, it would have been actually better for them if they put half and half, and Mueller can do whatever he wants anyway, which he'll probably do. And when I look at what's happening on the other side, I encourage it. I say, no, no, I, I think the new Green Deal, or whatever the hell they call it, <laughs> the Green New Deal, right? Green New Deal. I encourage it. I think that I think it's really something that they should promote. They should work hard on. It's something our country needs desperately. They have to go out and get it. But I'll take the other side of that argument only because I'm mandated to. I mandated. But they should stay with that argument. Never change. Never change. No planes. No energy. When the wind stops blowing, that's the end of your electric. Let's hurry up. <laughs> darling, darling, is the wind blowing today? I'd like to watch television, darling. Mothers who love their daughters <laughs> give... That was, I mean, that was, that's hysterical, right? So, I mean, obviously, it's comedy, right? Donald Trump, President Trump, you really do know what the Green Deal means, right? Right? It's like, you know, there's other ways of generating electricity, not just... Your electricity doesn't go off when the wind stops blowing, but it was, it was a funny delivery. It's a, it's a fucking stand-up comedy, man. It's good. The massive amounts of birth control pills. This isn't funny. Because they know their daughters are going to be raped on the way up to our southern border. Think of that. Liar. True story. They used to call it anchor babies, but they don't use that term anymore because it doesn't sound nice. Our laws are so crazy, but one by one, we're finding ways. You know, they call them loopholes. A lot of our laws, loopholes. Well, I'm finding loopholes to get around the loophole, okay? Because our Congress can't act. They can't act. They just can't act. The Democrats in Congress don't want to touch any of it. Visa lottery. That's where they put in the names. They put it in a lottery. And you pick, oh, here's a wonderful person, wonderful. You know, he killed four people. Here's, here's another one. Ladies and gentlemen, he took a hard punch in the face for all of us. There's one really good point I want to hear. It's uh, in another couple of seconds. I want to talk about it. Ah, so what was he talking about right there? Ah, ah. Ah. So that was uh, that was pretty good, right? Funny, some funny stuff. But he also said the president said that Trump vows executive order requiring free speech at colleges. I thought there was free speech at colleges. Ah, well, Trump is Trump was doubling down. He doesn't believe it. So Trump says he will soon sign an executive order requiring universities. That's after the kid got punched for uh, organizing. The kid on stage was a kid who was organizing a conservative political group on a college campus, and he got sucker punched. Uh, so Trump's Trump fighting back. Trump said uh, he will soon sign an executive order requiring universities in the United States 
to maintain free speech on campus. Trump also threatened that if schools did not comply, they could lose federal research funds. Ah, it's a good way to get them. Right? Squeeze them, squeeze them, right? Freedom of speech is in, enshrined in the First Amendment of the United States. Trump re- made the remarks during his speech at the annual Conservative Political Action Conference, CPAC. During his remarks, the president brought on stage uh, Hayden Williams. That was the kid you just saw, a conservative activist who was punched at the University of Berkeley last month while recruiting students for a conservative group. group. If universities do not comply with the order, it will be very costly, Trump said. The federal government awards universities more than $30 billion annually in research funds. I love it, man. Anything that anything that brings light. I mean, it's the same thing with the hats, right? You had it over here at Fordham University. You had a kid walk into a Make America into a, a coffee shop at Fordham, right? I think I covered the story. And the the some social activist warrior, social warriors, right? Walked up to him and she happened to work at the coffee shop and and demanded demanded with, with her fist raging in anger that he take off his hat, right? Free speech, right? So that's a good thing. What else we got? So so uh, on the other side, yes. Yeah, so Satan, <laughs> fucking this, this kid, right? This uh, YouTube Satan strikes again, right? He's now, the, the Bernie Sanders smears, right? Now we expect it from mainstream media. We expect Fox to smear, smear the left and the left to smear the right. But we often look to the internet to get our real news. But here's a fucking fake, fake motherfucker, right? Talking about, talking about Bernie Sanders. Just listen to the shit. All right, everyone. Brooklyn Bernie Sanders kicking off his campaign in his hometown. It was good that he was honest about the fact that he was born and raised in New York City and not in Vermont because a lot of people think he was born, born like <laughs> in the Appalachian foothills. Uh, here's this ass. This kid gets under my skin like nobody else soaked grateful dead listening hippie from the the state of vermont he was mayor of burlington because he's a vermonter and and he loves ice cream and confirmed satanist and he's he's goof the satanist is is dissing the grateful dead listener stuff and it gives him that sort of softened like hayseed style socialist image that's not bernie sanders bernie sanders is a wealthy urbanite he comes from an upper working class family and and what what did you just say? Bernie Sanders comes from an upper working class. All right. This kid doesn't even know how to use the fucking Google, right? So here's, here's Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders was born on September 8th, 1941 in Brooklyn, New York. His father was born in, in, in Hungary, part of Poland, to Jewish family, 1921. Immigrated to the United States where he became a paint salesman. Wow, he was doing well, man. So he was an immigrant. His father was an immigrant. His mother, Dorothy Sanders, was born in New York City. Jewish immigrant parents from Poland and Russia. Right? Immigrants. Upper class. It's what an idiot. Sanders became interested in politics. Who cares? Sanders lived on East 26th Street in, in uh, Midwood, Brooklyn. It's a couple of miles away. I've seen it. I know the neighborhood. It's kind of like, you know, it's Flatbush. Uh, <clears throat> Midwood, Flatbush, whatever. He admitted he uh, attended elementary school. A product of the public school system, PS 197 in Brooklyn, where he won a blah, blah, blah. Right? Sanders' older brother, Larry, said that during their childhood, the family never lacked for food or clothing, but major purchases like curtains or rugs were difficult to afford. Right? It's also on the record that he, he, they all lived in a three-room apartment in Brooklyn. Now, do you know what three rooms is? Three rooms is one bedroom, a living room, and and I think like you know maybe a spare room or something, right? It's it that's that's four people, his mother, father, and the two the two brothers living in a three room apartment. Now try that. That's you're talking. That's up upper upper scale, right? Sanders he went to Madison High School. I'm not defending Bernie Sanders. I'm just trying to we because you can't lie, right? It's it's like everybody wants the truth. Everybody wants you know, integrity and news, and then you fucking lie about the other side and and just to win. That doesn't that doesn't make it right. That's what I'm trying to say. So he went to uh, James Madison High School in Brooklyn, public school, right? 
It's not a, a, a man of privilege uh, whatsoever, right? Sanders studied at Brooklyn College, public university, right? So he probably racked up some debt. At the time, it wasn't that expensive. It was affordable. So he went, you know, that's actually within probably a few miles of where he lived. He went to the most convenient school, right, where poor people go in Brooklyn, right? Fucking, that's where we were yesterday, right? That's where the uh, rally was. He did graduate from Chicago University with a BS, uh, BA in political science, blah, blah, blah. So Satan, wrong smears. Let's listen to more. And that is sort of an economic thing. We've got to understand Bernie Sanders was not in poverty, and yet that's all he ever talks about. And the reason why is he loves poor people. All right, so, so debunked, right? Satan, debunked. Because poor people, if, they, if their lives have been destabilized, then they're more easily suckered by his socialist ideology. Oh, no, no, I want to... See, now, and now, that, now he's a socialist because he, was he poor or wasn't he poor? Did he, was he poor? Now he's just, now just go right for the socialist smear. I give you free stuff, yeah. I know you're on hard times. I'll give you free health care, free education, subsidized food. Really what he means is there's no such thing as free. There's no free meal ticket. The government doesn't have money of its own to spend. No, what he's talking about is he wants to take money, siphon it from productive private labor, tax it, the government buys... Not public private labor from, again, he's, he's just ignorant. He's an ignorant fuck. You take it from the corporations by taxing the corporations that don't pay tax. That's how you do it, right? Free medica- universal single-payer health care, Medicare for all. If you do it, you cut the costs in half by removing the middleman. So he's, he's a buffoon. By the way, we'll take an extra cut of that and then give the remnant to the poor. That's what he really wants, it would, would tell you, if he was being honest. When he- yeah, I think he's, is he making it up or is he just that fucking stupid? He says, well, free health care. No, no, no. What you mean is higher taxes. Free education. No, no. You mean higher taxes. Now, higher taxes, there's the tax smear. That means he's going to tax you. No. Tax the corporations, the top, the, the, the 1% of the country that make all the money that have all the control. All right. So another minute of this idiot. Oh, subsidized uh, food, higher taxes. That's all he's talking about. But more gun control. Okay, so you want... He's a total He's a total idiot. But the smears continue. We expect that from Fox, but not not, uh, not that. So so if you want to really... I did the uh, interview with, um, with uh, Jared Beck. Right? If you want to hear the real, you know, smear. If you want to smear Bernie Sanders, smear him the right way. And talk about how he's a coward and he won't, he wouldn't stand up for himself during the election. And we will. So, yep. I can hear you loud and clear, Marcus. Thanks for having me. Here's, Thank here's my, so my interview with Jared on. Beck. You should yeah. definitely listen to it. I'm I, not going like, uh, to relitigate what was said, but it was. Um, the questions, let's, let's just jump right into it. So, it was pretty good, right? There's, a, there's the lawyer. <laughs> Look, there's two of me and one of him. <laughs> so that's the lawyer from the uh, DNC fraud lawsuit. And, um, you know, he covers, he covered all the shenanigans with the Bernie Sanders, uh, you know, fiasco, the 2016, the running, uh, his running for president, right? The, 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 he, uh, Jared was actually the guy who was working with the lead, the lead witness, which was Seth Rich, right? We haven't heard his name in a while. Seth Rich and Sean Lucas, the guy who was, um, the process server so definitely definitely give uh give this a uh a, a twirl at your own time right and uh yesterday was so here, here we are and um on the street yes i'm gonna kill it here because i wanna i'm gonna see if i could if i could squeak squeak inside and get a little bit of a bird's eye view of bird's eye view about what's going on inside actually close to the front of the line I just wanted to point out that I cut the line. <laughs> I was looking for a free ride, right? Fuck it, I told you, man. The line was around the block. The line was all the way around the block, and Conti snuck the fuck in, man. I got in, bro. I snuck in on the line, man. Fuck it, I was in there, man. So the silence on, on this video at the uh, towards the end is because Bernie Sanders is playing music that has copyright infraction so that's something i just learned like you can't every time you if you're gonna if you're gonna record inside the 
the convention or whatever in the rally, they're going to strike you. Hey. I was just fucking smoozing with the chicks. Fucking God, he's on the scene, man, on the scene. So, so definitely watch this. Uh, people kick off. I re I retitled it the People Kick Off Bernie Sanders, you know, twenty twenty campaign because it really, for me, really is about the people. This this was a study in the the people who are participating. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think that's where the answer comes. The answer lies in the people. So. Uh, here we go. So, the yellow vests. Shit was crazy. So, act, um, act 16. 16 weeks already. So, you got 40, 12, 16. It's four months. Four months burning down the road. You notice that the clothing is getting a little lighter. That means the weather's starting to break in, in France. This is in um, uh, No. I've, I've, I think it's it's not, not the, the, the county is um, it's by the Atlantic side. Uh, no, not 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 a, It's pronounced No. <laughs> but anyway, um, so here's what's going on. Same old, same old, right? Macron still, still, you know, still uh, austerity. Do as we tell, do as we say. No organizing, or we'll gas you. Chemical warfare on 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 um, on their on the uh, you know on the French people. That's what that is. It's chemical warfare. It's 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 extreme violence, banging people in the head. You know, unarmed people in the head with clubs. Still happening. Proud people, proud people marching for their rights. Crazy, right? I mean, it's it's barbaric what we're seeing, you know. Totally barbaric what we're seeing here, you know. So you got you got all kinds of fucking world is erupting into chaos. Right? So well, maybe not really, right? So you got you got you've got the yellow vests rallying, doing it their way, no matter what they said, no matter what they tried. There was still austerity, and the oligarchy was firmly in place. In this country, we have. Trump the comedian and Bernie Sanders the alleged socialist both battling for the public opinion and that somehow some way one of these guys is going to change the problems in our country right the economic problems in our country is it possible is it possible for are the people at the Bernie Sanders rally right or are the Trump haters the Trump lovers and Bernie haters, right. right? Who's right? Who's wrong? Is, it the, is the better way to go, the yellow vest way to go, where you bring it down, you don't, you don't ask, you take. Right? You, don't, you, don't, you burn the house down, right? That's how you do it, right? So it's a good, uh, some good stuff going on in the world, man. Marcus Conte reporting. 